Welcome back to our scene guys. Today we're going to see how to create a bridge. So in order to create a bridge you can simply go back into performance mode. You can select uh, the vertex you want to extrude. So we are simply going to extrude some roads. Okay. Just like that let's say. And uh, what we're going to do next we want to uh, again dissociate uh, this vertex into two vertices. So we're going to eat V and just bring it close so both the road and the support connect with each other, just like so. Okay, dissociation and we bring it back. And so uh, whenever you uh, create a, a bridge, you want to dissociate the part which is the road uh, from the part which is the bridge, okay? It is very, very important that th those are not connected directly in the base mesh, okay? Just in the generated mesh, but not the base mesh. And so once you've done that, you can select all the parts that needs to be a bridge, and you can go to a uh, vertex group, scroll up, you select road, and you remove the road uh, vertex group to the bridge part, and you assign bridge, okay? And as you can see directly, we have a different uh, result from on this part. Okay. And so what we're going to do next, we're going to simply uh, extrude this and we're going to just uh, finish our bridge by simply dissociating here. Okay. Again. And now this part, we are going, we're going to do the opposite. We are going to remove bridge and reassign again road. Okay. So if we uh, go out of performance mode, we can see that assigning um, the bridge uh, to a part of the road uh, allowed uh, roadscape to not uh, affect uh, the terrain on this uh, portion. So we have a little bug right there. Let's go back into performance mode. So the thing is that uh, in, with roadscape, when you create a bridge, you want the uh, parts that connects to the bridge from the road and the bridge to be perfectly flat on the z-axis okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to select all this and and go uh z uh, s z zero okay and so this is completely flat and we're going to even just subdivide this bit here and bring this one uh, at the same level of everything else so we are going to select all of this s z S Z zero. Okay. The reason for it is that uh, in Roadscape V3 for the moment, uh, the road uh, could clip through the bridge and through tunnels uh, mesh as well. So the reason for, this is the reason why when we create a bridge, we want the connecting part between the roads and the bridge to be flat. Okay. So in real life, uh, most uh, bridge to road connection and bridge uh, tunnel to road connections as well are pretty flat. So this is not a big deal. And then after inside the bridge, you can very well change the elevation as you like. For example, if we go just like this, just bring this a little bit like that and simply just have this like that, we can very well have a bridge that has, you know, some variation on uh, the z-axis, okay? So on here, it is working because it was all flat already. So this is how we get our bridge, guys. We are simply uh, going to do something that looks a little bit better. So we are going to do a bridge that just go down, just like that, okay? We are going to flatten this bit. We need to uh, bring this uh, down as well. So let's go like that. Very good. Okay. So this is this wasn't really the best place to do a bridge like that. But you know maybe we can just uh, let's see. Let's go back to performance mode and let's just bring everything like this. Just you know just a little bit down like this this is a bit intense so we are going to subdivide it and we are going to do uh, something like this probably maybe this will help so this looks kind of better it's not very realistic uh, again this i think this wasn't the best place to do a bridge but you get the idea uh, we're going to try to make it look a little bit better again 
So we are going to bring this closer here. Subdivide this. Take both of these and do something like that. Um, maybe do something like this, like this. Okay. So yeah, you can do, as you can see, you can do pretty much whatever you want. And so this is basically how to create a bridge. Uh, the last step we need to do in order to have our bridge mesh is to go back into our uh, asset library and select the bridge object, okay? So let's go into performance mode, it, it will be faster. Drop the bridge object into the scene, okay? Keep all this selected uh, as we did uh, when we dropped the main generator into the scene. You want to do a Alt S, Alt R, Alt G, okay? So everything is set up to, the, to its original position. And as you can see, we now have a custom bridge column into the scene and we have our bridge generator, which is uh, an empty mesh, okay? And the next step we want to do is simply select the bridge generator go into its menu so in the menu tab and select the roadscape object we need to uh, tell the bridge what is the roadscape object uh, to display the bridge okay and if we now select the roadscape object and go out of performance mode we will have a generated bridge uh, that will show up in the scene okay so one thing to know when you create a bridge in a uh, roadscape is that the bridge mesh that is generated is dependent and only dependent on the information from the roadscape v3 object original uh, main generator okay that's the reason why when we go into the roadscape bridge generator we have to tell him tell the system what is the roadscape object we want to base ourselves uh, on okay in the bridge uh, modifier, you have a bunch of options. We are going to see that later. Okay, this is not the subject of this video. We simply want to create uh, a bridge really quickly. Uh, and so that's how you can do it, guys. Now, the uh, last thing you need to know, when you import uh, any extra generator, so generators that aren't the main generators, so namely the bridge, curbs, guardrail, Auto marking, custom marking, sidewalks, skin marks, vegetation, uh, all those uh, generators are extra generators. You can know they are extra generators because they share this uh, RDSCP uh, name tag in front of them. And so when you import them, they are uh, very heavy as well in uh, generation, in uh, CPU usage. So when you work on your road with roadscape, for example, you can go into performance mode. But now if we try to uh, modify our road, it's pretty uh, slow because the bridge is uh, continuously trying to rearrange itself and generate itself based on the modification we are doing on the roadscape uh, v3 object. So when you work on uh, the roadscape object, you simply want to disable the extra generator so this is the use of the add-on that we've installed uh, earlier, the performance add-on. You can find it in item tab again. And you simply disable extra generators. And when you disable it, all um, gen extra generators that are in the scene will be disabled while you simply, you know, uh, modify the roadscape. Then you can go out of performance mode and you can again enable. As you can see, if I disable, enable, it will simply enable or disable the bridge gen generation. Okay, so now we have our bridge mesh. And as you can see, everything is uh, as well uh, perfectly uh, working and uh, procedurally uh, generated and unwrapped and ready to use. So this is how you can create a bridge in Rodscape, guys. Uh, I think we are going to see in the next video uh, how to create a mountain road uh, or probably something else but I think we are going to go with the mountain uh, road so that's it guys and uh, thank you for watching